Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Subject Reconstructed X Act 1 Chapter 1 Part 1. The previous parts of this series I played in my 256 subscriber special, so if you want to go see those, that's the video you gotta look for. I put timestamps in the description so you can easily find it. Alright, let's read the description. Now that you have entered the training chamber wing, Eidos will help you make an account in order for you to enter the training chambers, and you will play through training chambers 0 and 1. Enjoy! Strange looking textures, found a bug. Did you get stuck, no punctuation? Hmm, that description seems to be cut off. Also, training chambers was said multiple times. I think that's to emphasize the training chamber nature of what we're going through. So let's get on with the training chambers in the training chambers. Eidos? Oh. Okay. Hey, glowy Welcome chairs! to the training chamber wing. Please be patient while I move the lift to the lobby. Don't worry, it won't be as hectic as before. <laughs> before you can begin, we have to create an account in order for you to enter the training chambers. All you need to do is turn on the computer behind the counter, and I'll do the rest. Alright, I'm gonna stick it to two times speed for now, even though it makes the voice sound weird. You can still understand it. Eh. <laughs> okay, I can place a portal there. And there. Am I supposed to have done something? I wasn't paying attention. That looks a bit strange. Might wanna... fix that. Also, can I portal- Oh! That doesn't look like portalable wall! Good. Why don't oh. you take a seat in the pink chair while I handle this? Now let's see here. Subject name. Well, I guess rookie can be a start. Subject town name. Skip. Family name. Skip. Relationship. Single. Spory. Not taken. And now, I have to do your bio. This could take a while. Okay. Done. Did you fall asleep? I know. You were tired. But now it's time to stay awake. The fate of Sector X awaits. Now go through the doors and enter training chamber zero. I know I promised training chamber one, but this is just a training chamber for the training chambers. I swear, if I have to say training chambers one more time, I'll blow a circuit. Just get past the main doors, and I'll give you the heads up on what to do. We passed out so hard we slipped out of the chair and onto the floor. And yes, there's more training chamber repetition, and this is the training chamber for Look, the training chamber. training chamber- Oh, I said it again. I'm going to pull out a fuse after this. Every training chamber consists of two parts. The learning segment, and the pop quiz segment at the end. This one is simple, and tells you just that. Go through the training chamber, and I'll see you after. Mmm, my- my graphic settings are too low to read that. I apologize. I don't know if there's a way to make it so that, uh, you can read it on low texture settings, but whatever. I've also partially seen some people, like, Good. knock and vintage now play this. Room. I'll move it to training chamber one. Alright, we are on. Okay. <laughs> These are some very basic training chambers. Like, are you expecting people who aren't familiar with Portal 2 to play this, or is this part of the- the joke or something? Okay, that's a little difficult at 2 times speed, I will admit. There we go. Alright. What do we have here? Just an ordinary cube? Alright. Cuban base button testing never hurt anybody. 
At least not canonically. Maybe it did. Hey! Oh man, gotta jump on the cube. Alright, fine. I'll do it. Just for you. Since you requested. There we go. I have to align the cube properly. Wow. Why... why this? This reminds me of a certain puzzle in Antichamber, where you can just... you can shoot your cubes above the Fizzler and not even have to worry about the Fizzler. Let's see... More basic stuff. Like, this is stuff that player people should still remember after having played Portal 2, the main game, you know? You don't need to reteach this stuff. It's not necessary. Pop quiz room. Uh, what's up with the cube maps there? Have they all been like that? Or am I just noticing that? Oh, there's a portal surface. Hey! I got lucky. Alright, so... Wait, what? Oh, duh. Okay, so what does this do? This does... Uh... Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm... this is not... this is not auto-respawn or something? Yeah, okay, it does not auto-respawn. Fair, fair enough. Also, I didn't even see the separate area. I don't know the cube up here. Wait, I could've used this cube for that. Alright. And there's a fourth cube somewhere? Oh, maybe I just stand on the button. Okay. Wait, okay, this one's that's an actual button. Or is that one's for cubes? I guess to be symmetrical? Strange. No? Where is there a cube I'm missing? Oh, I didn't even... There's that area up there I didn't even notice. And what? What? Oh... I was like, what the heck is making that noise? There we go. Alright, let's move on. By Gamer XD54 Labs new out now. Space exclamation point. It looks really weird when you put a space before punctuation, by the way. That's not normally how punctuation works. Okay, rookie. You know what to do. I've been looking into the subject of count logs, and it appears that they were ignored by the robotic guided voices. But it is urgent that I guide you, so I'll spice things up a little. First off, I'll speed up my voice. Alright. So we're getting link tutorial now? Alright, fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I was not fast enough there. What's the point of putting it on a timer? Like, that doesn't really add challenge, necessarily. Oh, and I forgot to shoot a portal.
There we go. You are the man you've heard so far. I built up a surprise for you when you complete this training chamber. Also, I'm currently downloading research files for human behavior. Maybe that's what will help me understand how to become more horrible. Oh, I didn't see this hole here. Oh, because I didn't jump, duh. And I didn't jump again. doing that just for fun. All right, so then I guess we want to go up there, right? Oh, okay. I I was already pretty close to doing that. Okay, maybe I need to do this at one time speed, but I'm not giving in just yet. <laughs> Come on, I can do this at two times speed. We are gonna do this. Whatever, that worked. Somehow. <laughs> Oops, wrong direction. There we go. That's permanent, alright, fair enough. Okay. Hey, Portal Stories Mill taught me this. And I completely failed. There we go. Whoa! What? Squiggle. Why did I do that? What was the point? What's the point of having that button if- if- if you- oh. There's no point to that! At all. Okay, so this is where we do... this thing. Unlike... I don't know if you guys saw Vintage's livestream, but he was doing it in the most difficult way possible. He had his portals, uh... long ways instead of sideways. And so... Like, let me- let me just show you real quick. Messing up even thinking about it. You had to, like, had both portals like this, and, uh, that one like that. And I th- I- and <laughs> he just went with it because it was too late to change it. He's like, this is my life now. And I thought it was hilarious. There we go. Oh, and the door's here. Alright. Face plate. Alright. Need a button for it. This one does something like maybe it turns around? Oh yeah. Hey, that's actually really cool. Alright, so I'm guessing something like this. Really? Couldn't I just... do that myself? Hang on. I gotta see this. Yeah, I don't even need that faith plate. I can do that myself! What's that about? Hey! I found it! I don't think- I don't remember seeing Vintage or Nock find this. I mean, like, they found the toilet, but they- Whoa, why is my game lagging? Probably because I'm playing at two times speed. Alright, what does this do? 
Okay, and this goes where? Okay, then. I just didn't want to die by getting hit with, uh... Ouch, come on. With, uh, with the laser field. Okay, what exactly did I just do? Oh, that. Which would allow me to go there. If I get some height from here, for instance. Alright. Thank goodness that's not on a timer. Oh, why did I do that? Whoops. Let's try that again. There's this. And then... I guess we want to go there? What did I... what did I activate exactly? Something there? Well, either way, I do want to activate that button as well, probably. Oh. Oh! Okay. Oh, we're gonna not go back up there anymore? I guess not. Yeah, what happened to my... my green... Oh, right, cuz, yeah, okay. No, I can go back up there. What's... what's the deal... Is... what's the deal with that little area? Is this... is this too much velocity? Oh, it's too much velocity. Alright. Cool stuff. Let's get up here. And, uh, why does it look... Weird. You might want to fix those texture issues. Wait, what? Did I not jump high enough initially? Let's try this this way. No, that is also not enough velocity, apparently. Okay, well then that's something else. I've already done everything up here, as far as I can tell. I, I feel like... I feel like this is supposed to work, right? Oh, I completely botched that attempt. Wow, that's, uh... It's crazy how it... ...pushes you out of the portal with quite some speed. But that is definitely not enough. And falling from here is too much. Where else is there to fall from, though? Three blocks. That could work. Except... Problem is, how do I get up here while also having my portal in the proper position? Oh, I I don't need to do that. I can just I can just jump from here now that I'm here. Yeah, okay. There we go. That's how you do it. And what did that do? Something up there. There's that. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, well, there's that now. All right. Okay. And that gets us the cube finally. And now that's the exit open. there? 
And it also wants a cube of its own? What? Oh, I didn't even... Did not even see that. Okay, so there must be portals over there then. Well, alright then. Yep, yep, here's the portal. So then we just go down to get the cube. The cube doesn't actually open the exit at all. It just makes the exit accessible to us. There we go. Come on. Come on, cube. Get on that button. Uh, oh. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you for watching. Ouch, my head. <laughs> I thought that was the end of this. Okay. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. And, uh, I will see you all in the next episode for the other two parts of Subject X Reconstructed. Goodbye!